Okay, so again, we are here doing Women's History Month to celebrate women that are doing phenomenal things in their community. So during Women's History Month, how can we support and how can we, how can you um, support and empower women in traditionally underrepresented fields, such as the juvenile justice system on that higher level? I would sum it up as listening. Everybody has a story and listening to her story mm -hmm. because everyone has a story. Um, and I think sometimes we miss that um, just in general, everyone has a story and listening to people's story. I think that is huge because it shows intentionality. Um, it shows a sense of, um, of, of being genuine um, and engaging because you um because you're listening to what that person has gone through, what they're experiencing, ups and downs or whatever. So just listening to her story. It's, it's Wouldn't it be a beautiful world if we listened more and judged less? Mm. Oh my gosh, that would be huge. Yes. And part of that story too, it's not about who's right or wrong. You start from seeking to understand and I loved what you said about, you know, coming in free of mind and, and give, assuming positive intent, right? Start with a place of positive intent. And I think so often, especially when somebody has over their head, you've done something wrong, or they're in a system of starting with positive intent gives grace to a person to tell their story. And that's absolutely that, that's, but you Right. Even as an individual, you have to ensure that you're okay within yourself, because if you're carrying hurt and, um, you know, uh, trauma with you, it's going to be hard to come into a space to work with young people because you're carrying that, um, that, that junk with you that you haven't, uh, healed from. And I know we all have heard the saying hurt people, hurt people. Now, I don't think anything is intentional um, in those arenas, but sometimes we have to self-reflect and ensure that we're okay, that we're, we're healed from our traumas or whatever before we can go into um, any community or work with anyone um, when we're trying to inspire them and things like that. Because if we're not clean, have a clean heart or good intentions, it may not end well. Right. And that's one of the things um, that I love about strengths, right? It is founded in research, right? The research shows that um, when people know the good in themselves, mm. they build from that, right? So strengths is the foundation of strengths. Gallup strengths really is looking at the good in people, um, understanding the good in you first, and then you can then project that out and then just just display it to the world. Um, so yeah, that's one of my many one of the many things that I enjoy about Gallup strengths is that it's based off of research. Um, they've mm -hmm. touched millions of folks right with their assessment and helping folks understand the good in themselves and see the good yeah. in themselves. Yeah. yeah. Everybody has strength. Everybody. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And they're all, you know, you have discipline as number two. Discipline's my number 34. But yeah. that doesn't mean I don't get things done. You know, so right. I lean into what motivates me and what my talent is, making it a talent from my strength from within. And I mm -hmm. think it's great, you know, back to your embracing your strength, saying this isn't what I, I'm missing. This is what I lead with. And thus your success and all of the people around you that are trying to do better, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. 